hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to create a longitudinal profile however in my previous video that i did on longitudinal profile in that video i showed on how to create the profile for the natural ground level alone but in this video i'll be making use of uh, two survey data combination of two survey data in this case the drain top which is the natural ground elevations and the proposed level that has been calculated and deduced for easy flow of our water all right and uh, we are going to be achieving that which you are seeing on the screen already together using the basic autocad by the lsp method so let's get started i'm just going to close this work environment and uh, start a new drawing so therefore, you are expected to have your data tabulated on Excel, just like what you are seeing. If you are combining two or more data, you have to tabulate it accordingly. So I'll be using this set of data for uh, this uh, section of the sewage, the drain top and the purpose level. This is for another section of the sewage, which I will not be using. So it's the same technique applicable for any survey data. So to get started, you have to come to your AutoCAD work environment and you do your unit setup for the length only. So that is under the length type, your decimal should be checked, your precision should be on 30.00, your insertion scale should be on meters or if you want to use the feet, depending on your interest. Therefore, I'll be making use of the meters. When you are done with the length settings, you don't need the angles or any other direction settings you click on ok then you come to your command line then you type app app that is app load you click on enter then you navigate to your lips which is the profile in 200 then you click on load then below you will see loaded successfully then you click on close then the next thing is to come back to your command line then you type pro that is the auto lisp command then you click on enter so the first instruction is to input the first station which in my case i started with chinage 00 so that is my first station so you will put zero if that is in your own case as well then you click enter then the next instruction is to enter the first elevation so the idea is if you are combining two or more data uh, the data that has the highest elevations, the column that has the highest elevation should be created or plotted first. So that when you are plotting that of the lower elevations, it's going to be on top, overlaid on top of the profile. So that is the idea of combination of two or more profile data. Alright, I hope we get that. Therefore, for my drain top, is having the highest elevation. So I'm going to copy the elevation for my first change. After you copy, you come back to your AutoCAD work environment, then you control V to paste, then you click on enter. So the next instruction is to enter the stationary distance. So according to my survey, it's taking on 10 meters change intervals. So you come to your AutoCAD command line, then you type 10, then you click on enter. So it's going to plot the vertical grid for you. Then the next thing is to enter the ground elevations of the rest of the changes, which in this case is the change 10. So you are just going to highlight, right click, copy, and come back to the command line on AutoCAD, right click, then you paste. So it is going to generate the train top profile automatically. When it is done, we we'll click on escape to exit the command. Therefore, you just adjust the test that I've actually overlaid on the other one. So that is for change zero. You select it, activate your auto, right click, then you just move it outside of it, not to overlay. Alright, that's okay by me. Then the next thing is to create the profile for the proposed level. 
all right so that is the next set of data i have for the profile i want to create purpose level so the idea is you are to create a new workspace so you click on new drawing that is the plus icon because if you are to create the profile here it is just going to overcrowd this other data but you are to create a new workspace then you plot that profile then you can now copy then you paste it on this work environment just follow me carefully so you come to your new work environment the same unit setting should be done click on ok come to your command line app enter go to your list select it click on load click on close come back to your command line pro enter therefore in this case you put your therefore in this case zero the first elevation for my zero change for the proposed level is quite different so you need to come and copy that come back to the new work environment paste that Ctrl V click on enter then the station and distance is also 10 click on enter so it's going to generate the vertical grid then you have to input the other elevations for the proposed level so you come to the next change you align all right click copy come back to the new work environment then you paste So automatically it is going to generate the profile for the proposed level therefore when that is done you click on escape to exit the command therefore to overlay this proposed level profile on this drain top profile the idea is that you need a reference point on this profile and on this profile therefore the reference point for both profile i would advise you to use the 90 meters intersection all right so to get that done you click on your line to make sure your old snap is activated select all okay then here you click then you intersect it to the intersection of the 90 meters then you click on escape to exit the command then you come back to the previous profile for the proposed level the same thing should be done here click on the line intersection escape to exit the command Therefore, you don't need to copy all of the profile details. You only need the uh, proposed level profile and uh, the reference point. So this is for the horizontal. I'm just going to create for the vertical. So the reference point will start from the intersection of the horizontal points from the 19 up. Just activate your auto if you want to draw for the vertical. Then let it terminate at the intersection of the proposed level profile here. Then you click on escape to exit the command then after you are done defining the reference points you are expected to copy the levels test of the sewage of your route depending on your set of data but we have to take it step by step right so you need to switch off the other features that you are not interested on in this profile so you click on layers you deactivate the f grid then you also deactivate the grid all right then you copy the reference point and the proposed level profile you right click come to clipboard you copy then you come to drawing three which is the profile for the drain top in this case when you do that you control v to paste it as a space beside your work environment after pasting which is for the proposed level and this is for the drain top okay the reference line here which is the intersection of the 90 meters grid interval here is going to be used to align the proposed level so you have to highlight all of this you right click click on move make sure your host snap is activated you can deactivate the auto mode here then you select this point then you can now move this to the intersection of the reference point here after you are done with that, you find out that you have two set of profiles. So the below profile here is for the proposed level of the sewage, while the above profile is for the natural drain top. Therefore, you are still going to do other editing which I am going to show you next. However, you need to come and copy the tests of the proposed level. 
so you can separate this then select all of this the changes is the same thing with that of the natural drain top so after you select this you right click come to clipboard click on copy come to the natural drain top then control v to paste then you can move it to the column for the grade level which we are going to edit so you can deactivate your o snap then you accurately place it in the column all right so here you have to edit this to proposed level in my case why this is the drain top or you can call it the natural ground level then of course this is the changes and it is constant for both levels so, so you click on enter to effect the changes for the test then you now click on escape to exit the command so we have successfully overlaid the two levels for the profiles on the same work environment so the work of this drawing is done so you can cancel then you can only work with this profile do we get that so the next thing here is to make changes to the colors and the editing so you cannot delete the reference line both for the vertical and the horizontal so you have to make the color of the proposed level to be different from the drain top or the natural ground level of the switch or the route therefore to effect the changes for the color your drain top or the natural ground level color is expected to be red while your proposed level is expected to be blue so it's quite easy right so you select the test you want to edit so for the drain top it is the test so you click on the layers then you scroll to the test which is activated click on the color icon then you make that red there's no cause for alarm if every other test is signifying red you are still going to make changes to all of them it's just step by step all right so you select the test for the labels for the proposed level drain top and the station you right click you scroll to properties you come to by layer here then you make that white so that is how to differentiate for this also for this is the same to make the changes for the color right click properties come to by layer click on white close that and like i said earlier the proposed level is meant to be blue so it's quite easy so click on layer you will see a particular layer for pg that is pg proposed ground or you can actually edit it to be proposed ground level mgl all right you can effect that change then you click on the color icon then you select blue after you do that, you activate the layer for that. Then you close this. Then you can now select the test for the proposed levels. Alright. To effectively select that, you need to deactivate the grid. So you click on layer, come to grid, you deactivate that by switching it off. You close this, then you select the test for the proposed level. After you select it, you right click, scroll to properties, click on that. Then you come to layer here you can see the default layer is test which is actually red as you can see however you need to change the layer to pgl which is the proposed ground level or proposed level of the drain in this case you close that then you click on escape to exit the command therefore after you are done changing the color of the proposed level for the elevations you are expected to make the color of the proposed level profile to be the same color with its elevations test. To do that is quite easy. So you need to turn off the layer of this uh, dotted grid. Come to layer, turn off the F grid so that you can conveniently choose the profile of the proposed level. When you select that, right click, scroll down to properties. The under the layer here you can see the default is on NGL so you make it FGL and you close that 
so you have successfully differentiated the proposed level of the profile from the natural level of the profile which is the drain top so when you are done with this editing you scroll down and make the changes to be white so you select the test of the changes you right click scroll down to properties then you come to by layer here and you make that white so you have successfully make all changes on the profile that is needed and that is necessary so you can now go back to turn on the layer of the grid i don't actually need the f grid all right just the grid is okay and uh, you can now close the layer properties icon so this is how to create a profile of combination of uh, two or more profile data for the drain top and proposed level in my own case and don't forget to trim out the grid that exceed your profile limit to do that is quite simple you click on trim icon then you can trim all this that is above your profile then you click on escape to exit your command then you cannot delete all this that is above then you cannot zoom extent so this is how to create profile of two or more survey data for both road or your sewage pipeline this is how to do that in my next video i'll be showing you how to create this with the SWDTM so that you can compare the method that works for you best however this method is generally applicable for all autocad versions for c3d basic autocad of even lower versions the list command can actually work for you if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial from this channel freely thank you see you in the next video